I, I personally have never seen anything like that. The drone vision of these pilot whales, which are largely are an offshore species, were all huddled up together in relatively shallow water. So first of all, you first you see this grouping of these whales all together, or potentially dolphins, we won't get into that right now, but these animals were all grouped up very close together doing unusual behaviour. So I, it was just, what was going on? And so what we do know is that pilot whales are usually, or at least a common species that we know that strand. But often when we see them, they've already stranded on the beach. So to see behaviour like this, could this potentially be a, a social thing that's going on, which most likely it was, or one of the things I mentioned, could it be pre-stranding behaviour that we now have a bird's eye view of? It's incredible. The moment any pilot whale or any whale comes ashore, the clock starts ticking in terms of their survival. And we know through research that animals that have been put back to sea with tags that these animals are able to resume life and, and resume deep diving up to a, a thousand metres or so. So there is good evidence to show that animals can be helped and they can be put back out there in a safe manner. But it all requires good logistics and good timing and favourable weather conditions. It could be, in this case, pre-stranding, where you should, you'd say that maybe they were avoiding a predator. Nope, not in this case. Maybe they were navigating and they came too close nope not in this case they were just sitting there uh, or, or maybe they were following a sick individual potentially that could be the case other things could be sound acoustic pollution we as humans we're really loud but we're even louder in the ocean and so this sound could potentially be disrupting these animals we just don't know there are so many different factors but knowing that we have impacts on land and in the marine environment as humans is something for us scientists to try and manage so we can best protect these creatures